Hey guys, so 2013 was a pretty amazing year for me. Uh, as many of you know, I actually left my full-time job as an engineer to pursue a career in YouTube. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to take this time to recap some of the best videos that I made this year, as well as talk about the uh, not so great worst videos I made. Um, and you know, just kind of tell the story behind those as well as share some of the things that I learned through my experiences. So uh, here we go. So the first video that I ever, ever made was the secret to being a baller. And I had never, ever, ever, ever made a YouTube video before. Um, and so now when I go back and watch that video, I just cannot. It is way too embarrassing. I had no idea what to do for my intro. And I know that you had to avert your eyes for the last five seconds, but please don't stop watching. Please. But I am really proud of that video because I submitted it to Internet Icon and for some reason they accepted me, that video, into their top 100 entries. Which actually probably tells you more about the competition than it does about my actual video. But anyway, the thing I learned from this video is if you want to do something, you just gotta go and do it. And at the time, you're gonna think that you made the greatest video in the world, that you're the best and it's okay to be uh, completely delusional. So yeah. So the next video I want to talk about is Love Camp. And if you've ever seen it, uh, well, if you haven't seen it, don't watch it. But if you have seen it, then you know that it is literally the worst video of all time on all of YouTube. And that is not an exaggeration. I cannot watch it without stopping it within the first 10 seconds. If I was your boyfriend, I never let you go. Uh, swag, swag, swag. So. Oh. The thing is, though, that that video was one of the most fun videos I have ever made. Um, I actually co wrote, co directed, co edited the video with my friend Dayun in one weekend. And it was just an amazing time. I remember we were like, oh my gosh, we're like Wang Fu. We're like driving around doing multiple takes at multiple locations with multiple actors. And uh, while doing that video is probably a bad idea because it was the worst video ever created. Um, that definitely was a turning point in which I thought to myself, wow, you know, I could see myself doing this YouTube thing as a full-time career. Maybe. By far, the most successful video on my channel in 2013 in terms of views and response was Labels. It's funny though because this was the first video I made where I actually did not intend for it to be shared with a broad audience. In fact, I made it as an application video to get into the Jubilee Project Film Fellowship. If I am giving this amazing opportunity, you will see the most hardworking, the most passionate, the most enthusiastic dreamer soak in everything that you guys have to offer. And I will use those tools that you guys provide to pursue my dream. Inspire lives one video at a time. And thankfully I got in. But the thing is, I learned from making this video that it's all about focusing on the creativity and art of making videos as opposed to simply thinking about ideas that will go viral. You see, I feel like I'm happiest and I make the best content when I love what I'm doing, when the video reflects my true personality and what I believe in. And I learned that success is really about being excellent at your craft and not about seeking the fame that goes with it. This year, I also did a cover of the viral song, What Does the Fox Say? in Chinese. <laughs> Ironically, this video has gotten the most views on my channel, despite being the one I spent the least amount of time and effort on. As you can see, I'm pretty average at singing and am certainly not fluent in Chinese. It was cool though, because I learned how to say a couple different animals in Chinese, and it was so much fun making this Mia, although trying to do it in one take was a bit stressful. Finally, the last project I took on in 2013 was A Cat That Barks, which told the story of Asian Americans who don't speak their native language growing up. This was directed by my friend David, and it was definitely the best piece and my personal favorite on my channel. After we finished the video, we actually had this goal to get to 10k views in one month. In retrospect, that was really silly because we were constantly texting and telling each other, 10k views, 10k views! And uh, yeah, that video actually flatlined at around 3.5k views. It's all good though, I really really enjoyed making that video and it motivated me to start learning more Chinese. Also, some of my viewers said that it inspired them to start learning their native language too, so that was really cool. Overall, I had an amazing year. 
If you want to read more about how my year went, you can visit my Tumblr where I talk more about everything in depth with links to all the cool stuff. But thank you guys so much for being supportive. I read every comment and every message and every tweet that you guys leave me. And you all inspire me as much as I attempt to inspire you guys. So I love you guys and have a blessed 2014. Bye. What are the three C's of all women? Cooking, cleaning, and cooperation. Every new year, my mother tells me to call my nai nai, which means grandma, and wish her a happy new year. Every new year, waves of shame and grief fill my heart.